The mate dark sky active X model resembles a harsh Mazda 3, may be reproduced after an awful wreck by an overenergetic proprietor of a spot welder and loads of gaffer's tape. Her channels jab out of the dash sending two breaths of molded air to nobody specifically. Indeed, even its progressive motor, the thing we're here to understanding, is buried in a huge, common cover to veil its tactless commotions. It's a wild, odd approach to meet an exceptionally whimsical vehicle that guarantees diesel-like efficiency, a wide-to-work ban, and a fascinating strategy for consuming less gas than at any other time. It takes a couple of hours for Mazda's specialists to clarify the central standards of operation. For more detail, read our Sky Active X Spark Controlled Compression Ignition Explainer, however here's an exceptionally concise diagram. Sky Active X weds some conventional fuel motor qualities with a novel type of pressure start called Psi. The key for Sky Active X is to utilize high pressure in the barrel and a to a great degree lean fuel air blend. Crushed ideal to the cusp of getting sufficiently hot to explode all alone which is difficult to anticipate, a squirt of additional gas and a start add to cross that pressure start edge in a controlled and unsurprising way. That takes a couple of basic parts to get perfectly. One is a huge measure of PC handling force and some weight sensors in the individual chambers, in light of the fact that the surrounding conditions change how and when these things happen. Sky Active X utilizes a gripped supercharger to direct an extra air when expected to nail the blend definitely, and high weight injectors to get the low proportions of fuel to scatter legitimately in the chamber. Furthermore, since it works like a regular fuel motor once in a while, it utilizes valve timing to bring down the high pressure proportion so it doesn't achieve burning start in that mode. By and by, the Sky Active X keeps running in pressure start mode more often than not. In handy terms, that implies it drives like a torquey gas sky active motor. The torque bend is wide and level, diesel-like in that regard. That additionally implies it can escape with utilizing a six-speed transmission and a lower last drive for better reaction. There's sufficient snort and economy together that Mazda can give the motor a chance to turn quicker. At 60 miles per hour, it's running at around 1,000 more RPM than a comparable gas motor, with more noteworthy productivity. Sky Active X is mind-boggling, and Mazda Vice President of R&D and Design Masashi Otsuka lets it out will be a costly motor to manufacture. In any case, he said to us before we drove the autos, with the major unbalanced grin, it's more affordable than a crossbreed. That addresses Mazda's theory in building the Sky Active motor range when all is said and done. Mazda has maintained a strategic distance from Zap completely, what jolt it utilizes is either extremely insignificant, i.e. loop regenerative braking and capacitor framework, or specialty, Demia Ev, with its revolving range extender choice. Instead of fabricate a pack of half-breeds and devs that are reliant on impetuses to offer, and still don't offer that well, Mazda has a point here, the organization chose long prior to simply enhance the inward ignition motor however much as could be expected. That implies it has the most reduced normal EPA mileage of any producer, in spite of the fact that its general volume is little, its deals have endured as of late, and it doesn't offer any extensive and wasteful SUVs or trucks. Mazda's methodology is in fact sound, however maybe not as successful in reality as it may trust. Of course, as the organization is anxious to bring up, nor is this present reality economy of the scaled back, turbocharged motor pattern. They're awesome at EPA testing yet wretchedly parched in reality. Sky Active X isn't the last after effect of this procedure, there will be more charge as that winds up plainly important or potentially requested by the commercial center. There's a cutting edge unadulterated diesel motor coming, after the since a long time ago deferred Sky Active D motor, utilizing lessons and maybe advances created for Sky Active X. Be that as it may, for the time being, Sky Active X is the outright cutting edge. Which isn't the manner by which it feels out and about at all. It shouldn't feel cutting edge, to be reasonable. There are harsh edges, as well. Be that as it may, for the most part, it feels like a direct infused, high-pressure fuel controlled auto. It doesn't feel supercharged in the conventional sense, either. Off the line, it's unquestionably perkier than the pale 2.0-liter Sky Active G motor, and keeping pace with the 2.5-liter non-turbo Sky Active G on paper, in spite of the fact that the X's to work bend is fatter. The to work wave proceeds as revs increment, legitimate yet not really energetic.
On the off chance that you need to talk numbers, they're justifiably fluffy. The Sky Active X tune isn't last yet, so drive into board figures are a moving target. In Frankfurt, Mazda said the model motor was making around 187 pull and 143 pound feet of torque. At Mazda HQ in California, the numbers bandied about are more like 190 strength and 180 pounds to foot of torque. That contrasts positively in the 2.5-liter Skyactiv G, which makes 184 horsepower and 185 pounds to foot of torque in the Mazda 6 and 187 horsepower slash 186 pounds to foot in the CX-5. The numbers additionally contrast from the Skyactiv D diesel, which makes around 173 horsepower and 310 pounds to foot in different markets where it's as of now sold. In any case, before you ask why it's such a great deal less capable than the new turbocharged Skyactiv G 2.5T that'll be out soon in the Mazda 6, recollect this, the Skyactiv X motor is extremely proposed to beat the weakling 2.0's mileage numbers, 28 city, 38 roadway, by as much as 30%, while truly surpassing its energy yield of 155 horsepower and 150 pounds to foot to put it plainly, it intends to pound the 2.0 liters economy with 2.5 liter power. What's more, it is as such with a satisfying to warp bend, which couldn't be more unique in relation to the peaky scaled down turbo gas motors contenders utilize. Presently, it's not as steep a to warp bend as an advanced turbinsel, yet it likewise doesn't come up short on breath as right on time. Their strange snort the distance to red line, showed at barely short of 6,000 revolutions per minute, where the genuine red line will be isn't clear now. While there will be a little electric engine to empower begin stop usefulness on the generation rendition of this motor, it's impaired in these models, so all we're really feeling is the additional beat empowered by the pressure start conspire. That additional to work likewise gives Mazda a chance to escape with a shorter drive proportion and six-speed transmissions, both manual and programmed were accessible to test, without yielding economy, since the productive working scope of the motor is so wide. That implies less apparatuses to gone through while down changing, less chasing in the program, and less multifaceted nature. The motor will turn around 1000 a larger number of revs at 60 miles per hour than an equivalent Skyactiv G, which additionally offers better reaction. Truly pound on it at full load and it'll change to start, consistently. It's just a tablet running on the dashboard that gives away which burning compose is going on, and in ordinary driving it's quite often in sci mode. Snap off the throttle or back onto it rapidly, and there's uproarious and evident rattle, the most clear sign that something's surprising. That rattle should be there. The Mazda build riding along discloses to us that these sudden throttle position changes are difficult to tune for, that some pre-ignition occurs in these circumstances where the motor can't respond rapidly enough to the changed conditions, and furthermore that the organization expects to block these recesses out totally for creation. That will be basic from MVH, clamor, vibration and cruelty, point of view, as we would like to think, on the grounds that the clack is boisterous and jolting, it could unquestionably ruin expansive acknowledgement. Furthermore, it's getting through a huge measure of sound stifling. Most alludes to it as exemplification, from an optional hood covered with sound stifling concealing the motor from view to boards covering the oil container and piece. Basically, the Sky Active X makes awful sounds notwithstanding when working preferably, and Mazda needs to add some material to veil it. The cost of advancement, it appears. Not that most direct infusion fuel motors are extremely charming to tune into, either. The issues do appear to be, impartially, to be sensible with tuning. The handoff from customary to pressure start occurs without the bumbling that tormented other organizations endeavors to ace the craftsmanship. Underneath the unpleasant edges is a motor that carries on like a Sky Active G that has been covertly working out a bit, as opposed to a diesel motor change over with him speculative chemistry to keep running on gas. What's more, there's a whole other world to these models than simply the motor. Were it only a general Mazda 3 with another motor, it wouldn't require the Frankenstein board surgery it got. In any case, it's in reality all the more cutting edge Mazda 3 underneath running a 7th era of a stage that has been developing for some time. Thing called new, yet not totally rethought. Significant measurements appear to be essentially unaltered, the Sky Active X would likely fit into a 6th era auto. 
the progressions appear to be more similar to refinements. Coleman depicted how different suspension bargains brought about unwanted parallel movements over specific kinds of knobs. We view the video of a driver's head, in moderate movement, shaking forward and backward. Changes to the bushings transformed a greater amount of that parallel movement into vertical movement, which people endure better. That implies Mazda can solidify the struts up marginally contrasted with the present age auto without rebuffing the tenants, yet relax the sidewalls of the tires to get the most out of their vibration assimilation and damping properties. In like manner, tactless vibrations haven't been assaulted with all the more substantial sound stifling, yet rather with watchful use of a damping glue between specific places in the unit body. The thought is to make the sounds less unpalatable as opposed to attempt to swarm them out totally.